What's up? Welcome. Today we are going to be listening to a new Bad Omens track called The Death of Peace of Mind. This is also an announcement for the album with the same name that is coming out February 25th. I am really curious to see where this new single for Bad Omens puts, puts them in terms of the sound and the style. As much as I loved their previous record, as much as I loved uh, Finding God Before God Finds You, I always thought that they could do more. I always thought that there is some of that unscratched potential in them left that they can definitely reach with their uh, next album, which happens to be the piece of the death of peace of mind. So I'm excited. I don't know what else to say about this other than um, on Sumerian Records channel, this is literally just called the death of peace of mind. It, it's not even titled Bad Omens, um, but hey, do your thing. I'm also excited about this because in December, I am seeing Bad Omens live uh, among Currents and Ice Nine Kill. So to me, um, that's going to be a very interesting track because they might play it alive. We'll see, we'll see. The death of peace of mind. Let's get into it. Ooh. Everybody likes these uh, electronic percussions nowadays. I can't blame them. Sounds fucking awesome. Immediate. Immediate the plot in you vibes. Immediate. So similar. The vocal work in this. Production in this. Mmm, so tasty. can't get the plot in you <laughs> similarity out of my head. It's such a similar vibe. But it's different. I like it. I, in some sense, like it and dislike it at the same time. But let's see where, where it goes. It's all about the ending. conceptual themes in the music video that I am too dumb to understand. Ooh. God damn, this production has punch to it. Real punch. I really like this. It's a shame he cut off his long hair. <laughs>
Okay. Well, that was the death of peace of mind. <laughs> and oh my lord. Oh my lord, bad omens. Okay. Okay, let me get this annoying little uh, thing that I've mentioned like 10 times already out of the way. Uh, this really, really does remind me of, bad, uh, of The Plot in You. And specifically their newest album, Swan Song. I feel like just the overall like structure, the the, the the style, the theme even of the lyrics, it really reminds me of that. And I think that um, similarity kind of tampered with my overall perception of this song. Because even vocals at some point sound like Landon. Um, and it's a shame that I, I made this similarity because now I can't get it out of my head and I feel like I'm not giving enough credit to Bad Omens. I want to say that this is an interesting song. I think there is a bit of an issue with it. I'm not a huge fan of these build-up songs. I feel like they've been so goddamn common lately. Uh, you know, we start off with nothing, we build, 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 and there's some heaviness, there's a bit of a drop, and then at the end there's a fucking breakdown with screams and, and all that disgustingness. It's like they're telling you, oh, we're doing something different now, but don't worry, we still got the heavy, like, we still, we still know how to do heavy, which is fine. Huh. I like the music video, I like the style of it. Clearly, this is a very big change for them, um... It, it reflects in the style of a music video. It reflects in uh, Noah cutting off his hair, his beautiful, luscious, long hair. Uh, so I think that there, there, there's something to that. Uh, and I feel like the death of peace of mind is going to be a big switch for them. I think it's going to be a big switch in the sound, which could be for the better, could be for the worse. I am not, I don't have enough information right now to process and tell you what I think this album is going to be like. Um... But I am excited, nonetheless. I think they are talented musicians. I think they know what they're doing. So I'm going to leave it to them. I'm going to wait patiently for the next single for the album. And we're going to listen to it in February together and um, form our opinions. How about that? Noah's vocals here are the prime focus. I also like a lot of work with electronics. The production is top tier. Again, with with songs like this, with style like this, what I'm missing is the guitar. What I'm missing is something a bit more interesting, a bit more lively with the actual instruments, the drums and the guitar. But the breakdown does uh, redeem uh, that aspect for me. Uh, it does have nice guitar work. It does have a great punch to that guitar. I mean, I don't have any else, anything else to say. It's it's just a very confusing but exciting release, I think. Let me know what you think about this new Bad Omen song called The Death of Peace of Mind. I'll be really excited to hear your opinions on it. But that is going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.